You already know what the fuck it is. It's your boy Cheeseburger. Big Burger in the motherfucking building. Live in the booth with Burger. Who I got with me in the booth today, brother? You got that boy Scant in the building, man. You know the fucking vibes. You already know what it is, man. That boy out here, man. So what you got going on out here in these streets, brother? Shit, right now, it's a, little, it's a nigga birthday tomorrow, man. You know the vibes, so I'm finna drop me a little fucking BD, uh, B-Day EP, my bad. It's fucking really here. Gas, a good gas. Yeesh. That good gas. I got a fucking B Day EP dropping at midnight. It's SoundCloud exclusive at the moment, but September 16th, that bitch will be all platforms. Just so y'all know. And of course, finna get some shit in with my boy Big Burger. You feel me? You know, finna get a little visual and drop it for y'all <laughs> as well. You know the vibes, man. You know the vibes, man. For sure. So, so, um. All right, so you say you got the EP coming out. You got any features? Any like, any anything like that on there? No features. Three songs. I ain't gonna tell y'all the names of it and shit yet, but three songs y'all gonna have to tap in. That bitch definitely gonna hit. I'm telling you from start to finish. Three diff, three completely different types of songs, but they all definitely telling my message. Telling y'all a little, a little sneak peek of the shit I've been through a little bit. But that bitch gonna hit, I'm telling you. So, um, where you grew up at? Where you from? Originally, I'm from Haverhill, Massachusetts, right outside of Boston. It's a little city out there and shit. All my dogs out there, shout out fucking Haverhill, Mass. You already know what it is. Yeah, you Yes, sir, Steve. <laughs> All right, so what was life like growing up in uh, in Massachusetts? Shit. When I was out there as a youngin' and shit, there's mostly everybody's out there focused on sports and shit, really. Yeah. There's not really... There's a little bit more of a music scene now, definitely. I got all my dogs out there, like, definitely doing their thing out there. But mostly out there was all sports and shit, especially when I was in school and shit out there. Yeah, you did tell me you was balling a little bit. I'm a bucket. Any anybody, we could put bread on it. I would one v one anybody, nigga. Anybody. Real quick. <laughs> quick. Yeah, okay. So what was um high school life like growing up out there in high school? Oh uh, yeah, school. Stay away from all females <laughs> in high school <laughs> and up there. I'm telling you right now. Other than that, that shit was lit. It's I can't say it's really better than Florida because I fuck with Florida. Florida's yeah, my shit. Bitch. Florida's my <laughs> shit. But up north, the school out there is lit as fuck. There ain't no uniforms and shit. I can say that. Yeah. Sports and all that shit. I was balling. I balled my sophomore year, my junior year, and my senior year. I see life. Oh, yeah. Whatever. I balled. Freshman year, I got cut from fucking St. Cloud and they were ass anyways. <coughs> I didn't really give a fuck. But I came back next year, got picked up and shit. I was playing sports in school most of the time. I started really rapping this shit after school. Mm. So you was recording yourself or um, you had somebody or a studio you went to? So the first song I ever recorded was my song Hit Up on SoundCloud. And I recorded that at a studio in Boston. No, actually it was in Lola, it was like right outside of Boston. Um, I pulled up there with shit. That bit. I pulled up there with my boys and shit. My boy CB, for my nigga CB. My boy CB recorded his shit, and then I hopped in the booth, did my shit that day. That song hit up. We dropped that shit like within the next week and shit. I know. Fucking what's it called? After that. The second song I made was a feature with CB. It was um, called Lena. Fucking out there. And hey, bro, that bitch was hitting, for sure. Everybody out there was running that bitch up when that bitch dropped. I swear to God. That shit was like a city banger. All my dogs remember that bitch, but... Um, so y'all went viral in the city a little bit. Yeah, type shit. Like, we we definitely, like, got a little motion, but we I can't say we started it because I have my dogs that have been doing this shit for a minute out there. Like, my boy, Fetty. That nigga's nasty with it. Shout out to Fetty. Man. Shout out my dog Fetty. Mm -hmm. I knew that nigga since a youngin. I haven't tapped in with him in a minute, but it's my dog for sure. Yeah. For sure. So what was it, the obstacles you had to go through out there when you was out when you was out there in Boston? In Boston, really, is just 
like after high school and shit, a lot of niggas started getting into that gang shit. Mm. Gang violence in the city got crazy as fuck, bro. Everything out there is gang shit right now, bro. It's it's pretty bad, but I still got like my boys are still out there doing their thing and shit, but the gang shit got pretty bad out there and shit. Eventually, and then it wasn't. Everything started changing and shit out there, really. Mm-hmm. So like, everybody started leaving over there. Mm-hmm. So what did you do to stay away from all of that, you know, and still like be on your old path and you know going forward in life? Really, coming up, I went through my own, like, a whole bunch, a lot of shit. So, not that I've seen it all, but I feel like I've seen it all. Like, I've seen a lot of shit. Like, I've been through a lot of shit. So, there ain't really no new shit that comes my way that, like, I feel like, oh, I haven't seen this before. Like, I don't know what to do in this situation. Like, the way I was raised and shit is, like, to be prepared. Like, stay ready. You don't got to get ready. So, Tight like, shit. Yeah, you feel me? I'll be ready for really whatever it is that so happened to fucking happen in the moment but I really stayed focused because I got like family and shit I got family I got a shorty and shit I got like a vision I know what I'm trying to do and you gotta like <clears throat> take an account like damn I got all these people on me yeah you can't be going out there doing crazy shit for a fact bro you can't go out there I can't be crashing out and shit like on some dumb shit when I when I say I have this vision, I say I want to go do all this big shit, but I'm gonna crash out and do some dumb shit. The fuck, the shit don't even correlate. Yeah, no. but we live, we live on the Instagram. What's, What's good? Goody? What's goody? What's goody? I'm with my boy Scan A. You What's feel up, me? Y'all? You say, you feel me? Hey, shout out to that boy Scan A. What's good, everybody? We live What's in the good, booth. Y'all? We live in the booth with burger. Whole lot of burger shit. You feel me? This in the this is the middle of the interview, you feel me? But shit, we'll keep keep going where we picked up. Right now. What's good? What's goody, ganger? Mm-hmm. What's good? Yes sir, yes sir. So we outside in the booth, yes sir. Fucking split. Yeah. So shit. What was the question? I forgot my question. Like we're talking about we just talking. <laughs> 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 then fucked around and forgot right. What the fuck we talking about? Shit. But yeah, um. So, we was telling us how you was staying away from all of the bullshit back home in um, Massachusetts. So, yeah. what were some of the obstacles you came through um, when you came to Orlando when you first moved out here, like in Florida and shit? Out here, out here necessarily was when I like, in a way, I found peace out here. You feel me? Like, like. I love out north, like, I love Boston and shit, but, like, living here, I was able to, like, start putting my vision in motion and shit, you feel me? And I got a lot of friends and shit out here, and I fuck with Florida. Everybody out here. Florida's lit, nigga. You can't, nobody can say Florida ain't lit. Florida's on the map right now, for a fact, with everything. Florida's fucking lit. I never really had no issues and shit out here like that. For sure. Yeah. Because one thing about Orlando, Orlando's small as fuck. Like, you don't want no problems with nobody, bro. Like, Hell yeah. It could be For like, sure. you be in a Walmart, you bump into a nigga. Downtown, yeah. everybody like to go downtown. You everybody definitely... go downtown. You feel me? Everybody go downtown, bro. You definitely gonna run into a bit downtown. You feel me? So it's just best to stay out the way you do your business. You know, uh, get with your team and shit. Just stay close with your people. That's that's a fact. Stay you with your people. Me. Family over everything. For me. Yeah, yeah. Fact. So what's if good, what y'all got? Who you got? Oh shit! Yeah, let me show what's those. Good, y'all? What's good, everybody? What's Felipe good? Felipe Jackson. What's goody? What's up? Yes, sir. Niggas here. Yes, sir. We live in the booth of Burger. You feel me? I'm with my dog Scan. Yes, what's sir. Goody, man, scan the building. Scan the building. Yes, sir. Uh, so you can tell us like some of the obstacles you've been through um, since you've been out here in Orlando. Really, I really facing obstacles. I, I never really ran into no pro- like. Maybe, maybe, maybe some. I mean, I guess you could say obstacles is 
the other artists out here, you feel me? Like, I love all the, all of my dogs and shit that do music, but we all trying to like, I expect all of y'all to think you're the fucking best. I want everybody to be on their shit. You feel me? Like, so I really like, that's the fun in it. I'm trying to compete. Like, rapping's like, for fun. Rap's a sport to me. Like, I didn't start off rapping. I started off hooping and shit. I was a hooper. Mm. But I started rapping and shit because I was able to start telling my story and shit a little more. For sure. Because I got a lot of shit to talk about. I was able to start telling my story and doing something different. Mm. And I just, shit, I found a love for that shit. No cut. Uh, you could tell us about like the, um, the first time you performed. Mm. Right now. First time I performed was in Tampa, I think December 2019. So yeah, like December 2019, something like that. Um, I performed with my boy Lou. Shout out my nigga Young Lou. Shout out Saint Fucking Cloud, nigga. We about to we about to put them niggas on the map. Trust. Shout out, Shout out that nigga Young Lou. Fucking, but yeah, I performed with this nigga Lou, and I performed on um, one of my solo songs on SoundCloud called Jugs. Um, and at the time, me and Lou had dropped this single called um, Rock, and it was like, it was me and this nigga, because some shit went down. We were talking about some real shit in there, too. It was some funny shit. Hmm. We're going to hit that bit. Fucking, so yeah, we had dropped that bitch, and then, like, literally, like, two weeks after we made that bitch, we performed it in Tampa. Cause somebody hit me up from Tampa. I don't really remember the name of the place, but shout out Tampa. Fucking, they hit me up and they was like, yo, y'all wanna come on and perform? I was like, hell yeah, I slide. Yeah, yeah, so I bring my boy, what's up? I'm on the way. So I slid, did my thing and shit. Shit was lit. I Honestly, I never really had no nervousness or nothing on stage. Shout out fucking Grumpy's Underground too. I did a lot of shows there and shit. Shout out fucking Grumpy's, you already know. Shout, my nigga, shout out my nigga Tatted. All my niggas in the cave, man. And then, you know, fucking did a couple of shows out there and shit too, as well. Um, but honestly, I never really had like nothing like stage, fr- like stage fright and shit. That shit ain't nothing. Fuck out of here, niggas. Just go out there and pop your shit. Yeah, that's it. Pop your fucking shit. So, do you like to be off that gas or that drink when you on stage? I'm always off the gas. <laughs> I'm always off the gas. I'm telling you right now. Niggas always off the gas. I stay off the gas. I like getting drunk. I like getting drizzy. But I always, I'm always off the gas. That's that shit. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Put that bitch up. So, you can tell us pretty much like, um, what kind of upcoming projects you got coming for the streets? Any EP, LPs? Cause I know you got the birthday one coming. Yeah, I got the um, I got the B Day EP dropping to tonight at midnight. But um, other than that, I'm trying to focus on visuals really right now. Mm. Cause I got a lot of songs out right now that I haven't really been able to drop a visual. So I haven't even dropped a music video yet. Yeah, always dropping this shit. Fucking, I always like, I always be like, yo, I'm gonna go drop a video. Then I, I just don't end up getting to it. I always be fucking getting into shit. But I'm definitely. My visual is gonna come crazy. I got ideas. I always write some shit down. I got concept got, and shit. Yeah, I got hella concepts. Hella concepts. Um, albums though, another album. My next album, probably more towards December, January for sure. Cause I want to focus in. Cause now I'm finding like a different type of sound. Really, like I'm starting to experiment a little more. Yeah. And I'm starting to do some some shit for sure. I'm about to come different. Okay, okay. So you can tell us, like, who's your top favorite, your top three favorite rappers in Orlando? In Orlando, like, hmm. Hmm. Like, Orlando or, like, like Kissimmee, Orlando, St. Cloud, like, this whole area. I should say Florida, fuck it. That's more. Florida. <laughs> <laughs> right. You can say fucking Florida. <laughs> who's your hmm. top three favorite uh, artists out of Florida? Hmm. Let me see. Not including myself. Yeah, you can go. Well, my, I'm yeah, definitely gonna yeah, say myself. Yeah. I bump my. You literally look at my fucking phone. I bump myself. I I literally listen to my shit. 
so I can come up with different sounds, different shit. I just I make I think I make good music. I listen to myself a lot. Um, fucking, hmm. I listen to my boy Kid Turn King a lot. That nigga be going hard. Shout out that nigga Kid Turn yeah. King. Shout out to Kid Turn. King. Nigga be going crazy. Um, who else from Florida? Hmm. Let me think. Why be bumping? Let me look. Let me just look. Yes, sir. Let's just look right now. We can just run it up. Um, the last, like, couple albums I played from niggas in Florida. That nigga Esteban, yo, I can't cap. Esteban is, that nigga be sliding. He's the sample, that nigga be sliding on them samples, bro. I can't cap, yeah. If I'm if I'm talking about Florida, like, cause like I'm not really talking about no mainstream shit. I'm talking about underground, underground shit. shit. Yeah, yeah. I be I be fucking with, yeah. That nigga Esteban be going crazy. <laughs> Can't forget about my dog Bass Snaps either, nigga. Bass Snaps be going crazy. Shout out to Bass Snaps, Esteban. You feel me? Damn, it's it's too hard to pick a top three, nigga. We all be going crazy. If yeah. I'm not if I'm as long as I'm not talking about no mainstream shit, nigga. We all be going fucking crazy. Nigga. I'm so mainstream, who your, who your top? My top three your top mainstream. Three. Damn. That's damn. Top mm-hmm. three. No top five, just top three. Top five for you. <laughs> top five, top five. Niggas is gonna niggas don't know why. I mean, I fuck with this nigga for like my own reasons and shit. But this nigga Kendrick, Kendrick is definitely I think number one. Like if I'm talking about skill wise and like who I fuck with myself, my opinion. Kendrick, I fuck with a nigga Drizzy, I fuck with Jay Z, I fuck with Biggie, and I fuck with like for top five. Hmm. Who am I gonna get that fifth spot to? Yeah, what's good, everybody? That fifth spot either gotta go to <clears throat> Ye or like fucking damn. Yeah, or like Young Thug or some shit like that. Like somebody that changed music and shit like Lil Wayne or Young Thug or something like that. Young Thug, maybe Future. That fifth spot could go to three different niggas in my opinion. Young, young Thug, Kanye, or fucking Future. Okay, okay. All right, so what moves are you making to get yourself out of, um, you know, out the hood or your current situation? Like what kind of moves you making? Shit, honestly, I'm just fucking niggas is working, just focusing on my craft. Cause, I mean, once you figure out how to get paid off of streams, you can do different things with that. So, been trying to like dig into that more. Cause I definitely I've been on that shit for sure. Fucking looking into like cryptocurrency and shit like that. If you if you don't know about that shit, learn about that shit. Shout out to crypto. I'm telling you that shit is coming. Y'all niggas better get on that shit. <laughs> Fucking, <clears throat> what else? Really shit. I wanna. I ain't gonna say too much, but yeah. Okay. We get into it. So, what do you got to say to all your fans and everybody that look up to you and um support your music and what you got going on? To anybody that does support my fucking music, bro. All y'all niggas. Trust. I got hella shit coming for y'all. And I definitely take the time to try to make sure that my content is watchable. Like, that's why I haven't dropped the video yet. Like, I got crazy ass concepts. My music is definitely listenable. Love, listenable. Fucking Schmidt. My music's definitely listenable. Just go through. I mean, I don't really, I have probably like, I got four EPs out right now. Three. Two EPs and one album. I got a seven song album out. And just run through them bitches, and I got a whole bunch of singles and shit on SoundCloud. Hell yeah. For sure. But what I got coming is different, though. I got hella shit coming. Hell yeah. So we finna tap into the Instagram. We finna see who we got in there, bit. Feel me? Shout out to the um to the Instagram. You feel me? The live Shout out to the IG, quick. my dog Big Burger and this bitch. You feel me? Hey, you got the fucking vibes. Oh, my dog Skint. You feel me? Skint we in the building. The yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. We finna get some work done in this bitch, man. All right. So the vibes. for the people, you feel me? That's uh, 
right now. You can um spit some bars. You feel me? You can bless bless us with some bars real quick. With some bars. Yeah, sir. All right. I'm gonna spit some shit for you. Like, mm. I said, take a step back, nigga. You know how we coming. We be counting stacks through the hundreds. I be thumbing. Blit got a dick, so that mean it hold a hundred. Told them meet up like a track meet and we can get to running. Hmm. Trust me, I can make you disappear like it's nothing. Hmm. I've been rapping like two years, nigga, and I'm stunting. Hmm. Hit you with a drum, nigga, that's a repercussion. When they ask who up next, I'm the topic of discussion. Uh -huh. Niggas can't match my drift. Yeah. Pull up with the smoke and the smoking on a zip. Shit. Talking to me loose, nigga, better get a grip. Cause you know I got the deuce and I keep it on my hip. Hey, she huh? was talking dirty, couldn't even take the tip. Hey, so what? I made it work like re re and hit the dip. Huh. She drop it and she twerk and she drop it in a split. I don't even know, nigga. I'm high as fuck. Damn. Hey, y'all make some noise, you feel me, for my nigga scant. Just uh, bless us with the bars, you <laughs> feel me? I'm just, I'm just a smack. That's all that shit. Came through and bless us with the rest. You feel uh, me? Some rrr. You hear me real? Some rrr. So, alright. So, where the people can find you at on all your social media platforms and everything like that? Yeah, look me up. All platforms, man. All you gotta do is type in S-K-A-N-T. Scant. Scant. That's it. I go by the name of Skin. Yo, let me get the lighter real quick. This bitch went out. I'm spitting my shit. Oh, okay. Bad, bad. A motherfucker. I mean, the fuck I'm gonna spit some more shit if you want it. Shit, if you want it, bless us with some more. spit some more shit for sure. You feel me? Because I got some. I got some shit. I don't know. I got some shit I be working on, like some melodies and shit. I be working on. I was like, why they wait until you up to show their true intention? Mm -hmm. You could've shown me you ain't shit when we was sitting on the benches. Mm -hmm. For, I knew that they ain't shit, but I forgot to mention that mm -hmm. I'm used to this. Uh -huh. Yeah, I'm used to this. Uh -huh. yeah, I'm true to this. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. yeah. All my niggas letting loose. I don't give a damn, Mike, pull up with a deuce, yeah. I ain't calling shit, I ain't calling truces. All my niggas pulling up, they chucking out the deuces, yeah. Like, I don't know. I, I, be, I be working on melodies, too, like, like bro. The shit that I'm, that I'm trying to create in the future, because, like, when I was coming up, I listened to a lot of rap, hella rap. Like, I love rap, but I also, like, I listen to singing shit. Like, everybody, everybody listens to their own, like, Little, they got some type of fucking R and B artist that they fuck with. You feel me? Yeah. Shit like that. You feel me? Mm -hmm. To me, Breezy the goat, R and B wise. I don't know that nigga Breezy go hard. When I was coming up and shit, mostly, but yeah, when I was coming up, bumping Breezy and fucking Fifty Cent, Eminem nigga, and N W A and shit like that, like yeah. crazy shit. Like my uncle put me on. My uncle put me on hell of shit. Shout out my dog Jay Hustle. It's my fucking uncle. Free my uncle. Free my uncle Jay fucking hustle. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So we finna go ahead and wrap it up. You feel me? Hey, man, y'all already know what it is. It's your boy Cheeseburger from Cheeseburger Productions. The Dank Daddy from the Dank TV, man. Yes, sir. You feel me? I'm Who who I got with me in the uh, in the building with me? You feel me? Man, you already know what it is. You got scant in this bitch, man. <laughs> Trust me, I got hella shit coming. B-Day EP dropping tonight at midnight. Look me up on Instagram, SK. Well, right now, I actually changed my shit. VBT Skin. Also, follow the brand Valued by Attention. Shout out Valued by Attention. It's my shit. Shout out to, shout out to guys, man. Yes, sir. VBT. Yes, sir. So, shout out to everybody on the Instagram live. You feel me on the chat? Shout out to the chat. Hold on. Shout out chat. IG, shit. man. What's up, man? Shout you out do. all the guys on IG, man. Whoever pulled up in this bitch, just watch for a second. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Shout man. out all my dogs. Yes, yeah, so, sir. So, you know, September 25th, we got the Burger Fest coming up. September 25th, uh, pull out. I'm bringing out the hottest, the yes, 40 sir. hottest artists out of Central Florida, the biggest networking festival, Burger Fest part two. Come out and network. Pull up network, man. You feel me? It's going to be a movie, man. Because your network is your net worth. You feel me? No cap. You don't know who know who. Pull up September 25th. It ain't what you know, it's who you know. Facts, facts. Pull up. That shit gonna be at Uncle Lou's, Grumpy's, on Mills, 
The Burger Fest Part 2, man. Yes, Y'all sir, pull ski. up. Yes, sir. Ski. My dog said he get hot. Yes, get sir. Hot. Yeah, you feel me? Hey, man. Hey, I'm about. We about to. We about to. Hey, bro. We about to chill with the chat. Hey, you got some music we can play for the people real quick. You man, feel me? what's up? We it, we man. chilling with the chat. You feel might me? Might as well. Might as well. I'm gonna show y'all what we about to fuck with. We about to make a little video and shit after this live. Fucking, I'm gonna show y'all what we finna record. Yes, this is the man. first song off the EP that's dropping on midnight. And we'll have in that. Shit, that just right there. With, uh, I see what they're saying. Who that guy? Like three heads in that bitch. Whoever's in that bitch. It's yeah, it. lucky right now. Shout out to the chat, man. We in the booth with Burger. Whole lot of Burger shit. Burger and Scant in this bitch. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Shout out to my dog Scant. We live in this bitch. You feel me? If you fucking with it, drop a heart, some shit. Like the, the spam the heart shit or just drop a emoji, whatever the fuck. Even if you don't like that, I'm gonna go down and drop an emoji, whatever you feel. So, hey, if we was in the club, I'd be telling y'all niggas, go to the bar. Tap into the bar type shit, you nope. feel me? Tap on the hosting shit, you feel me? It's a show. Right now, we in the, we feel me? The burger show, big burger. With my dog, skin. Burger. Yes, <laughs> Yeah, catch me in the vip, getting lit, smoking dope till I choke, and I tote on the semi octo. Get the bag and put the gang on, that's the only motto. So much money on me, I just think I hit the lotto. They say I'm so, on the tap in, tap in. That new scant, tap in. That unreleased scant right here, tap in, man. Just like all these other bitches. What you know Let's about the show. struggle? Them days before the riches was hitting licks with blicks with the switches. All my ops bitches. I try staying humble, but sometimes I get vicious. Mm. And I put in work, but they steady making pushes. <laughs> bitch, I came up from the dirt, scrubbing floors and washing dishes. Any nigga can get hurt, good between me and my riches. I ain't even trying to first. Took a fuck up on your missus. Before niggas end up missing. I ain't with the dissing. Yes, sir, oh, yes, sir. Light, man, man we live light, in the booth with Burger. We that unreleased, goddamn, unreleased. scant, you feel me? Shit, it's a blessing, you feel me? Really, though, you feel me? My dog, Big Burger, man. Fuck it, man. Yes, sir. Uh, Appreciate you for coming on to the, you feel me, the yeah. Dank TV, kicking it with your boy. Shout out to the chat, everybody in the chat. You feel me, the, uh, the chat room and shit. Who in this bitch right now? Who's it? You feel me? I don't even know how to say that. Cut it. Kid, Kid Martin, what's goody? Kid Martin, what's up? Yes, uh, shout out to everybody. Was that, that Robbie, that boy Robbie, or something like that. What's goody? Mm -hmm. Shout out to all y'all, you feel me? If you want to go ahead and wrap it up, hey, make sure y'all tap in. Yeah, sir, excuse me. Uh, what a boy can, what we can find you at oh, one more time again. Yo, know, find me at VBT Skint on Instagram, on Twitter, with a twist, W I T A T W I S T T. Yeah. Bad, bad. So you already know what the fuck it is. Your boy Cheeseburger from Cheeseburger Production, the Dank Daddy from the Dank TV. Walk yes. out with me in the Dank TV again. You got Yeesh. that boy Scant in the building, man. Shout out all my fans. Anybody that does fuck with my music, man, I fuck with y'all for real. And I definitely got some crazy shit coming. Trust me. I'm here. We here. Right, we out this bitch. We out this bitch. Gang, gang.